Hardly any drivetrain technology has defined Audi so considerably. I simply like the idea of developing a vision for a car in a form that didn't yet exist at that time, and to show the world that we could do it better. The all-wheel drive idea made automotive history for Audi. To learn more about the birth of Quattro technology, we travel to Hamlin in the German state of Lower Saxony. Here in a small industrial town lives the man who 35 years ago was head of pre-development at Audi and the originator of Quattro Drive technology. In Ingolstadt, the head of chassis development comes to Walter Tresser and raves about the great handling of a VW Iltis, an off-road vehicle. He made the offhand comment that if we had the Iltis with more engine power, we would outshine all the rest. That was his vision, to have an Iltis that would have superior driving characteristics in snow. I was more of the opinion that we should make a sporty passenger car, a coupe, a two-seater or a two-plus-two, great performance and four-wheel drive. And then I won out in the end with my idea. In February 1977, Tresser and his 12-man team began to develop the first Audi with permanent all-wheel drive. Six months later, in November 1977, the first Audi Quattro is finished, the UR Quattro. In-house, the car is called the A1. The A stands for all-wheel, the one for the first all-wheel model. The car is a modified Audi 80 with slightly lengthened wheelbase and a five-cylinder turbocharged engine with 200 horsepower. Walter Tresser and his colleagues clock up lots of test drive kilometers before presenting the new driveline technology to Ferdinand Piesch, the chief technical executive with overall responsibility for the project. Piesch was behind the wheel at one of our first prototypes, and when the car came to a stop at the Turasha Hoha mountain pass, local people were there finning snow chains. And then, while assembling the snow chains, the locals kept glancing at the Quattro with its summer tires with expressions of pity on their faces. They fitted snow chains, and then Piesch just sped off with summer tires through the swirling snow. The all-wheel drive in the UR Quattro impresses and passes all internal tests. Now, all that remains is to choose a name for the new drivetrain. I tried the whole time to find a name that was not just a name, but more a type of classification. And then we came up with Quattro with two T's and an R that rolled off the tongue much better. But the Audi marketing department in Wolfsburg was pushing for the name Karat. Before that, I had heard about this perfume from 4711, a simple cologne for women. When the name Karat was presented in this meeting, I said, surely you don't want to name this beautiful car after an ordinary women's cologne. I showed them the bottle. It didn't make me any friends. But in the end, it helped make sure that Quattro won out. Walter Tresser prevails for the second time, and as a result, the Audi Quattro, with permanent all-wheel drive, made its world premiere in March 1980 at the Geneva Motor Show. While the all-wheel drive technology goes into series production, Walter Tresser moves to motorsport, along with his all-wheel concept. Here too, the success stories come quickly. In 1981, Franz Wittmann wins the Jana Rally in Austria, more than 20 minutes ahead of the competing cars. This lead and this appearance was all it took to focus the attention of the entire rally world on Quattro and on the four-wheel concept. Today, there's not a single rally car without all-wheel drive. The spotlight also falls on Tresser when the French driver Michel Mouton agrees to join his factory team, the first woman in the history of rally racing. With Mouton, he wins the San Remo Rally. From a technological standpoint, the Audi with all-wheel drive is at least two years ahead of the competition. And in 1984, it attracts the rally racing legend Walter Roll to the Audi factory team. Everyone wants to drive the most successful car in rally racing history and score victories with the Quattro technology. After amassing over 20 wins, Audi withdraw from rally racing in 1986. By then, Walter Tresser had also departed, leaving Audi to start his own business. Today, he runs a small fan club where he's gathered memories and vehicles from his career.
Walter Tresser had an idea that enabled him to redefine Audi drive technology, and it's still decisively shaping driving dynamics today. Extreme inclines, wet roads or winter road conditions. There are many different extreme situations. 1980, the birth year of the Quattro. Ever since, Audi has been developing its all-wheel drive technology into a highly dynamic drive system that improves traction and handling significantly. The Quattro system distributes drive forces between the front and rear wheels in equal shares automatically electronically or permanently. On wet roadways, engine power is transferred to the wheels that can apply the greatest drive torque to the road. This improves overall driving stability. To gain a better understanding of this technology, we're visiting the Audi Driving Experience Center site in Neuburg an der Donau. Instructor Thomas Osterreider will take the Quattro technology to its limits. The steep hill, with an incline of 39 degrees, simulates driving in mountainous regions. This module might be compared to the Harakiri ski run in the Austrian Zillertal region that has a slope of around 80 degrees. On off-road terrain, the Quattro technology must, within fractions of a second, choose which wheel should have power transferred to it. The electronic differential lock is active because we still have some wheel slip at the rear. With this power distribution, we always have reliable grip and forward propulsion. Just two more degrees of incline and the Audi Q7 would reach its maximum tipping point. The second module represents extreme mountain drives. Here the angle is 29 degrees, which corresponds to a 55% incline. This slope is already so extreme that a normal office chair would begin to slip on it. Vehicles without all-wheel drive have to drive upward with very high revs. It would be practically impossible to stop and then resume driving. We can remain stopped and thanks to the Quattro drive, we can start driving again without any issues. We also do not have any spinning wheels. The half-pipe simulates vehicle handling on off-road terrain. The side walls to the left and right are more than 2 meters or 6 foot 6 tall. For the Audi Q7, this presents challenges for axle articulation and for the torsional rigidity of the vehicle. Here we can drive up the halfpipe, the wheels with slip are mechanically braked by the electronic differential lock and the forces are redirected to the other wheel. That way we always have forward propulsion. Three extreme situations, one technology. The Quattro drive distributes the torques between the individual axles and thereby constantly ensures good grip and reliable drive power. In the next episode, you'll learn more about the advantages of a Quattro drive when Audi Media TV presents all-wheel drive technology under extreme wintry road conditions on snow and ice. Snow-covered roads, bitterly cold, perfect conditions. Quattro, the drive system for great traction and handling. On a dry road, the engine's propulsive power is transferred nearly one-to-one -to, -one to the wheels. On snow and ice, it takes the right technology to enable better traction and handling. The Quattro Drive provides the best conditions for this. Sebastian Strasser, head of the department at Audi that develops the Quattro Drive system, knows all about its advantages. Essentially, Quattro technology is designed to operate ideally on surfaces with any friction coefficient. When driving on snow, for instance, in the electronically controlled system, such as the one in the R8, we redirect a lot of torque to the second axle to achieve the best traction possible at both wheels there. That is, we exploit the capabilities of both axles as ideally as possible. To avoid a loss of traction, the drive torques must be distributed to both axles in a targeted way. We're at the Audi test site in Scandinavia to learn more about Quattro technology. As many as 400 engineers work here to test and improve Audi technologies under extreme conditions. The 
Quattro development team is here too, tuning the Quattro technology for each Audi model over many test kilometers. Right now, Michael Baer is optimizing the actively controlled all-wheel drive system in an Audi R8 with winter tires to enable ideal traction and handling on snow and ice. Our system ensures that the engine torque or propulsive power is distributed to the correct wheel at the right time and that the vehicle drives safely and with stability, offering customers the best possible traction. Michael Baer uses an instrument to measure the torques at which the wheels spin on the 6.5 km test route at a temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius. In drifts, the instrument reading is pegged. The Audi R8 slides sideways across the road. Quattro Drive should prevent this by distributing the drive torques to all four wheels in a specific way. Especially at these low friction values you need four-wheel drive at all four wheels to transfer the drive torques to the road surface, first to improve traction for customers and second to improve handling so that they don't come up short on driving enjoyment. What looks like continual driving pleasure on snow and ice is for the Audi engineers their fine-tuning of Quattro technology so that Audi customers can enjoy a clear advantage in drive systems for both normal and extreme road conditions. Even though the Quattro Drive delivers better traction and greater driving stability, it's not possible to shorten braking distances on winter roads.